Hello, welcome back. It's me again. And today we're going to explore another very interesting uh, question on average. Three children receive their scores for the mathematics test. The average scores of any two of the three children are listed below. What was the highest score among the three children? All right, so this table, right, you see three numbers over here, right? And these three numbers stand for the average scores of any two of the three children. All right, so give me a guess. How come there are three numbers over here and not two numbers? Because they see average scores of any two, right? Why don't you just see two numbers over here? Why do we see three numbers instead? Okay, the reason is because when there are three children, right, let's call them A, B, and C, right? So 83 will be the average of student A and student B. 86 will be the average of student A and student C. And 94 will be the average of student B and student C. That's why you see three numbers. All right, and so based on these three numbers, are you able to find the highest score among the three children? So do pause the video now and try this question yourself. All right, welcome back. Let's go through the answers and see whether you can get it correct. So as I mentioned earlier on, let the three children be A, B, C. All right, so to find the scores of A and B, you take 83 times two. Remember, average times the number of children is the total score. You get 166. Then to find B and C, you take 86 times 2, you get 172. And lastly, to find the A and C, you take 95, 94 times 2, you get 188. Okay, now based on these three equations, what do we do? We can combine them together in a single equation by adding up the three of them. So A plus A give you 2A, B plus B give you 2B, and C plus C give you 2C. Alright, so when you take 166 plus 172 plus 188, you should get 526. Alright, so 2A plus 2B plus 2C equals to 526. Kill me a guess, why is A plus B plus C? Right, to find A plus B plus C, you simply take 526 divided by 2, you get 263. And that's the total scores for the three children. And now, based on this, kill me a guess, how do you find the highest score? Right, to find the highest score, you must take the total score minus away the lowest among these three numbers. And do you know why is the reason? Right, that's because right, if you want to find the highest score, the other two children must be the lowest score. And we know that lowest score is a 166. So to find the highest score, you take 263 minus away 166. The answer is 97. Do you manage to get this question correct? If you didn't get correct, don't get demoralized. I know this is a pretty challenging question. So do take some time and wrap your mind around the solutions. And once you're feeling comfortable, you can actually cover up the solutions and try the question again.